it's here. And uh, this is my um, weekly watch list for y'all. Uh, so, right now I'm looking at MYOV. Um, as you see on the weekly chart, we can see a breakout about to form. Um, if this breaks, if this breaks this resistance line, I would say buy in, and we can see to take this up to uh, about 26, or maybe even higher to the share. Um, it is on a freaking huge breakout right now, so. But yeah, this is the next resistance line. Then we can see it take it up to the all-time highs. So watch for MYOV. Uh, PDD. Uh, we can look to take this as a sell. On the weekly, it's looking pretty bad. A lot of resistance going on right here. Um, if this breaks, we can look to take it higher, but if it holds, we can look to take a sell. So, just be watching this. Uh, I'll let you know tomorrow morning if it's good to sell. I'll drop it in the group chat. A lot of heavy resistance going on here. Uh, this is just because a lot of ep economic news uh, that dropped this morning about tariffs. So if we look at the S&P 500, uh, it's going down. It's holding a little on resistance. Uh, let me see. That's not the right one. Look at the S&P 500, it is sitting on resistance, so you can either see this pull up or come down, depending on how the news goes tomorrow. Uh, Twillow right now, once again, it's sitting on resistance. If we see this break, we can look to take a sell all the way to 88. Um, Dollar Tree. It is actually broken the trend, so um, stay out of this. We are waiting for this to pull back to resistance right here, and then we can uh, take it with the trend. Unless it breaks, we can look to take it lower. Twitter is still in profit. Um, if you guys actually want to get in Twitter, this is a perfect uh, re-entry point. You can see it bouncing off and taking it with the trend. Uh, we can see it pull back to about $30. And then if you're taking this trade, guys, make sure it pulls back to $30 tomorrow. Buy in. If it goes anything lower than uh, 50 cents after $30, $30. You gotta just get get out of it. Uh, yeah. Let's see, go look at the daily. Oh yeah, this is, looks beautiful. You see a pullback and then just take it all the way up. This is about to be uh, you're gonna buy a option on this January seventeenth. That's what the options you wanna look at. January seventeenth or longer. Um, I would take about thirty five dollars if you're gonna hold it. So. CLVS, I mean, I got in this uh, today. It pulled back, and we saw it coming up with the trend. Um, we can see this one pulling all the way up to 21. This is where the last gap was. 
and it already broke the trend line, so we're taking it to the next gap level, which is 21. Um, that's the next time it's going to pull back for resistance. So if you guys want to get in this, it's fine, even though it's up 10%. If you see it coming down low a little bit tomorrow, hop in, take it up to 2150, and then it could break this trend and keep going. But it's going to refill this gap. So right here, it's a gap. It's going to refill it. So we'll have to take it to this level. Okay. Trip. It's still a good time to get in trip, guys. We're trying to take this all the way up to $52. Get this shit off of here. FedEx. Clearly, it's going down. We're going to take this back to the trend line. I would say get this in uh, for January 20 or 17th. It's probably going to miss earnings. It's been missing earnings for a while now, so... Let's take this with the trend. It's going down. We're looking at high, all-time high resistance on Domino's Pizza, so this is for next week, but we'll wait and see. There's one other stock I wanted to show you. I can't even think of the stock. Well, that's the weekly watch list um, for this week, guys. Keep your eyes on the stocks. Uh, we're actually, market's going down. Um, if you're in PayPal, look to take this higher tomorrow. Everything else, everything else is the same. It is at a high resistance, so watch for that. If it don't break this, sell it. If it don't break... this salt. Alright. Thanks.